Hi everyone, this is AFC RDTV and welcome to highlights of AFC Russian and Diamonds against Barwell from the FA Cup fourth qualifying round replay on Tuesday evening. So following the dramatic late 2-2 draw on Saturday, the match would be decided and it would be the visitors with the most possession early on. First chance here, Barwell's Alex Tomkinson with the header just wise. Back before Delroy Gordon, setter Tommy Berwick, who put a dangerous looking pass into the area, but the Diamonds couldn't take advantage. And here, defender Liam Dolman heading wide. So, in an extremely tight and frenetic first half, FC Ocean and Diamonds nil, Barwell nil. There was a huge crowd of 1,162 in the dog and duck to see this contest, smashing the ground record for the Diamonds. Oh, use it. And here Tom Lorraine was taken out during a run to the area. Although with a covering defender, the referee decided that the challenge was only worthy of a yellow card. And then from the free kick, Courtney Herbert. What a save our visiting keeper Liam Castle. And there were a few hearts in mouths moments as defender Eddie Nisovic had that shot go just wide. But before long, the pressure would tell for Barwell. Tompkinson whipped in a free kick. And the dangerous Brady Hickey was there to get in front of his man and head Barwell into the lead in the 70th minute. Diamonds would then do everything they could to try to get an equaliser. There Liam Dolman again with an opportunity, but again saved. And Barwell probably should have seen things out. Dominic Brennan finding Hickey, whose shot went over. So full time, there's Yushin and Diamonds nil, Barwell one. That means Barwell go through to the FA Cup first round. A fantastic run for the Diamonds, one that the club can be proud of. And it's back to league action now. On Saturday, the Diamonds will visit Barton Rovers. So here we are on AFC RDTV. Sorry to report, though, the final scoreline reads AFC Russian Diamonds nil, Barwell one. And I'm with the manager, Andy Peaks. Peaksy, a very frustrating evening for Diamonds. Yeah, disappointing evening. We'd get that many people in here tonight. And then, for me, not really perform to the standard we can. It's obviously frustrating, disappointing. Call it what you want. I always say uh, that's the harshest scoreline to lose by, one nil. And... Um, we just uh, didn't get the rub of the green tonight. I don't think we had the rub of the green. I don't think we got probably a little bit of luck that I think you need in the FA Cup, certainly to beat a team from a high league. Um, we didn't seem to get that, like you say, that bit of luck um, tonight, and effectively it cost us. I thought uh, Diamonds came out much brighter early in the second half, early mid-second half, maybe our best play of the evening. Yeah, I was disappointed first half because I don't think we performed to anywhere near our capabilities. Um, we didn't pass it particularly well again, and we didn't win enough first and second balls. But the, the, the positive was we were still in the game. Well, I think we still, though, in uh, retrospect, have a lot to be proud of. Diamonds really have come a long way this season, especially here in the FA Cup competition. Yeah, no, it's been a fantastic cut run, but in football, as far as you go, you still want to go a bit further. So I'm obviously disappointed. Um, I'd expect to be disappointed when you lose 1-0 at home in the FA Cup. So, yeah, we've had a great run, and I'm proud of what we've done. Um, just a bit, a bit frustrated. I think we've perhaps underachieved over the two games, but maybe that's credit to Barwell. Uh, yes, you mentioned the crowd here at uh, the Dog and Duck tonight. A vice chairman just mentioned a moment ago that this is the largest crowd ever to uh, watch AFC Russian Diamonds. We had 1,162. That's fantastic. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. Brilliant crowd tonight. Fantastic support. I'd say disappointing for me is that we didn't play to the standard we can play. I usually ask uh, what was the mood of the team at halftime. Uh, this time I'll ask what was the mood of the team after the game at the end. Well, it obviously wasn't particularly happy, to be fair, Bruce, as you'd expect. Um, no, they're disappointed because they know it's a missed opportunity tonight. Um, they don't come along very often. Um, you know, it's about us going again now, training Thursday, be ready for the league on Saturday. You know, FA Cup's a bonus, always has been this season. You know, our main focus was the league, and we get back to that on Saturday. And uh, Claudio Hoban got the uh, man of the match. Would you go along with that? He did create a few chances. Yeah, he was um, probably our most creative player, as you'd probably expect. I thought we defended quite well. I thought Sam Brown was excellent. I thought the back defence was all right. You know, I think a lot of them played OK. Um, 
I don't think any of them are outstanding. And I think to win an FA Cup game at this level or this stage, you need three or four to be absolutely outstanding. I don't think they probably were tonight. Uh, were you close to maybe bringing in another substitute or two uh, coming down the last 10, 15 minutes of the game? You brought in Scott Joseph in the second half, but that was our only sub tonight. Yeah, well, we, we was looking at the options, but to be honest, um, that was the only one we thought. You know, we hadn't really got a lot of attacking players on the bench, particularly only young Matty Pinder. It's obviously a big game for him. So, no, I was quite happy with that. I was just hoping we'd get a goal. And uh, Barwell next will play, it looks like, Welling in the uh, first round proper. Meanwhile, Diamonds uh, back to, uh, like you said, league play next uh, Saturday. Barton Rovers, so you got to start uh, focusing in on that game. Yeah, that's our fo that's our, definitely our focus. Say so we should train on Thursday night, have a chat again, get on a positive vibe, and be ready to go to Barton on Saturday. All right, thanks, uh, Pixie, for your time here. No problem. Cheers. Cheers, Bruce. Thank you. And next up on AFC RDTV, it's uh, the man of the match for Diamonds, Claudio Hoban. Uh, thank you, Claudio, uh, for coming out. I'm sure you're uh, sort of a uh, little depressed, mostly, I would think, frustrated at this point after a tough loss to uh, Barwell, 1-0. Yeah, disappointed really. We we worked hard, but we didn't have enough quality in our game to like finish the game off. Conceded a sloppy goal, but they weren't better than us, so that's the most frustrating thing. Uh, well, in the first half, uh, I, I thought really Barwell did maybe, uh, they were in the ascendancy, had the better part of the play, but Diamonds, you came out flying in the second half, especially early, mid-second half, really could uh, came close to scoring, just didn't get the rub of the green. Yeah, we we was uh, they were better in the first half. We were better in the second half, but it wasn't meant to be for us to uh, f to score a goal. We came close a couple of times, but it wasn't to be. <laughs> and uh, we had a great crowd though here on hand. Well over a thousand, a thousand one sixty two. The attendance at the Dog and Duck that must have uh, brought the team into uh, play. High spirits. Yeah, yeah. The crowd's always great here. Like, it's our, it's like we've got an extra player on the pitch. Even when you're knackered in the final minutes of the game, they just push you on. So it's great to have a great crowd every game. I know in the past uh, few weeks or month or so, you've had a tough time with uh, injuries. Or, do you feel like you're 100% fit now? Fitness is not there yet, but um, my knee is feeling okay. So. 90, 95% yeah. maybe? Fitness is not, not 95%, about oh. 70, 80, but fitness will get there. Well, you gave a heck of an effort yeah, tonight. Yeah. Uh, what was the, the team like after the game? I asked uh, Peeksy the same question, I guess a bit uh, down at the yeah, moment. Yeah, just disappointed really, because we know we could have we could have won tonight after getting that draw on Saturday in 95th, sixth minute. We was on the up. They looked like they were on the down, but they got the win, so well done to them. Well, that's right, uh, but uh, don't hang your head down too long because uh, I think everyone is very proud of uh, the way Diamonds competed in the FA Cup this season. And uh, now it's back to the league uh, Saturday at Barton Rovers. Yep. They're known as the Mighty Rovers. Uh, do you think they're really that mighty? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see on Saturday. <laughs> so, uh, well, okay, well, keep up the good play, Claudio, and get back to 100% fitness. And uh, thanks for your time. Okay, thank you.